This video includes an overview of the entire neurocervical package and detailed setup instruction for the clear access table base, supine platform and pad, or flat top, and cranial stabilization adapter with non-OR safety equipment, the Mayfield base unit and skull clamp. This setup is typically used for cranial procedures that require cranial stabilization, such as brain surgery. The Clear Access Spine Surgery Table by OR Safety was developed to maintain all of the utility of competitive spine tables that are generically referred to as Jackson tables, while removing all of the notable drawbacks of those types of systems. The table maintains head-to-toe C-arm access for lateral, anterior, and posterior spine procedures and can support the simultaneous use of two C-arms. While maintaining such unrestricted C-arm access and providing target site radiolucency, the clear access table has a safe working load of 600 pounds and has a noticeably more stable operating surface, particularly for heavier patients. Without outboard wheels, the table allows shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder docking with the gurney, which facilitates safe patient transfer onto and off of the operating platform. Finally, and perhaps most notably, there are no towers at the head or foot end, completely removing the need for T-pins and allowing anesthesia direct access to the patient's head and airway. Notice that without outboard wheels and towers, the clear access table has a dramatically smaller footprint than the competitive systems. A small footprint has been shown to be a significant benefit in the increasingly crowded ORs, hallways and storage areas of most facilities. Specifically, Jackson-style tables commonly occupy more than 26 square feet of space, while the clear access footprint is less than 12 square feet. Importantly, the clear access table is the only spine table on the market that has three preset configurations, each configuration organized in response to customer feedback and intended to deliver the right amount of equipment to fit specific types of clinical practices. The ASC solution is configured to support practices dedicated to outpatient spine procedures and interventional pain management. The new standard is configured for hospital-based spine practices and can support anterior, posterior and lateral spine procedures. The neurocervical configuration supports practices that include brain surgery and posterior cervical procedures requiring cranial stabilization. In this video, we will highlight the clear access neurocervical configuration. This is the most broadly capable version of the clear access table. It will support anterior, posterior and lateral spine procedures. And with the use of the cranial stabilization system, can support brain surgery or cervical spine procedures that require cranial stabilization. Like the new standard configuration, the neurocervical configuration begins with the clear access table base and two tabletops the supine platform or flat top and the prone platform or open top. The neurocervical configuration includes the clear access head support, multi-directional arm boards, the flex frame spine frame and leg management system. Importantly, the neurocervical configuration also includes the OR safety cranial stabilization adapter and rope traction device. The cranial stabilization adapter is compatible with the base units of most cranial stabilization systems, including Mayfield and Doro. The rope traction device can be installed into the cranial stabilization adapter and is most commonly used for ACDF procedures. The clear access table is the only comprehensive neurosurgery platform on the market, a true spine table that can be configured to support brain surgery. Let's review the correct setup of the clear access table for brain surgery cases utilizing cranial stabilization systems such as Mayfield and Doro. Move the clear access table to the preferred location in the OR. To lock the table to the floor, press any button on the hand controller to wake it. Both hand controllers will auto-sleep if inactive for 30 seconds. Press any button to reactivate and then lock the table by pressing the wheels button firmly once and releasing. You'll note an audible beep as the table is lowered to the ground, warning caregivers to keep personnel and equipment clear of the table. If the supine platform is not already installed on the clear access table, it's likely that the prone platform, the open top, is in place. If this is the case, Remove the prone platform with the help of another team member by grasping the silver handles at both ends of the table. Extend the handles by pulling outward 
Then lift and remove the prone platform from the clear access table base. Next, install the supine platform or flat top onto the table. To do this, bring the supine platform over the table and lower it carefully into the cradle. Once the supine platform is completely seated, depress both thumb releases at each end of the table to collapse the handles into the platform. Collapsing the handle at the foot end locks the supine platform into the base. To install the cranial stabilization adapter and prepare the tabletop for the patient, extend the platform by grasping the handle at the head end of the table and pulling out until it clicks into place. Verify that it's locked in the extended position by pushing inward on the handle. Install the cranial stabilization adapter onto the extended supine platform by bringing the adapter underneath the handle and lifting upward to engage both the handle and the stabilization bar in the appropriate grooves of the adapter. Slide the adapter toward the foot end of the table to click into place. Hand tighten the locking knob on the bottom of the adapter. Verify that the system is firmly locked by pulling on the components. Next, advance the supine pad forward. Remove the pad and align it with the extension by reattaching it to the table via the Velcro. With the adapter and pad in place, the table looks like many general surgery tables. A flat operating surface on top with two receiving ports below for a base unit. Accordingly, the installation of the cranial stabilization system is similar to installation on general tables. Completely insert the rods of the base unit into the ports of the adapter. Then hand tighten the two retaining knobs on the bottom of the adapter. Pull outward on the base unit to verify it's properly held in place. It should not move outward. Once the adapter and base unit have been installed correctly onto the clear access table, the base unit and skull clamp should be utilized in accordance with the instructions for use of those systems. Most base units will accommodate a variety of skull clamp locations. For illustrative purposes, observe how the skull clamp is joined to the base unit and ultimately locked into place. An important safety note, do not cantilever the table in this configuration. This could result in damage to the table, possible injury to the patient, or harm to a healthcare professional. The table is equipped with two identical hand controls. If desired, one hand control can be draped and placed in the sterile field, allowing the surgeon to manipulate the patient and optimize the surgical approach angle at the access point. The table can be lowered to 22 inches of height, which could allow the surgeon to be seated during the procedure. Use of 20 degrees of lateral roll to the left and to the right, 12 degrees of Trendelenburg and reverse Trendelenburg, and combinations of both lateral roll and Trendelenburg facilitates visualization during the procedure. Of course, when extreme angulation of any operating platform is employed, it's critical to adequately secure the patient to the table. Please consult the clear access instructions for use with any further questions.